Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today, I've got a really exciting batch of discs here. Thanks to Power Grip USA, I've got the brand new Prodigy Reblend discs. Now I've got the Reblend A3, I've got the D2, I've got the F5, and I've got the M2. The M2 and the F5 are my two favorite Prodigy molds right now. And I have an old M2 and an old F5 that actually come in and out of my main bag depending on what courses I'm playing. Not all regrind or recycled discs are created equal. And I can say my initial thoughts on the feel of the plastic is that it honestly, to me, just feels like a, a stiff kind of G-Star. Again, it's not a stiff plastic, but it's very grippy like G-Star, and it's not quite as bendy as G-Star. So think in of a G-Star plastic, just slightly more stiff. Now, I've always liked the grippiness of a G-Star or softer plastic, but I don't like the bendiness that comes with it. But it seems to be these re-blended re Prodigy discs have that stiffness I like, but with the grippiness that I also like. And I think people with dry hands are really going to like the feel of this extra grippy plastic. So I guess that's a little golden tidbit for you people with dry hands out there. Um, we're gonna give all of these discs a throw. We'll go M2, A3, F5, D2. We'll see how the M2 flies first. The M2 is a disc that I've enjoyed for a long time. To me, it pretty much just flies like a rock. Oh, she's beefy. That is no ordinary M2, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the Reblend A3, which is a 4303. Let's put this up on some Anheuser. Not quite a full Anheuser, but pretty flat, swinging hard left at the end of the flight. Very true to those flight numbers. Now this here is the disc I am most excited about when it comes to the reblend plastic. I love the feel of the plastic, but the F5 has solidified its place as my favorite Prodigy disc for a very long time. I'm hoping this has a nice little flip up in the mid flight. Any minus two turn disc, I'm usually always a fan of. So let's see, hopefully this doesn't disappoint. Yeah, that's the juice. I love that. Easy hyzer flip, massive distance, but not so flippy to where it's gonna like turn and burn on me. It's just a shot shaping machine. I can already tell based off just that one throw. Now we've got the D2. I think this is gonna be one of the ones that sells out the fastest. The plastic feels awesome. It doesn't have a huge dome. It's got a mild dome. Definitely not a pop top. Well, it's like a it's like a half a pop top. We'll call it a half pop top reblend D2 12503. I'm just going to throw this as hard as I can flat. Ugh. Very very stable D2. So the M2 and the D2 if you like Prodigy discs but you need something stable, those are gonna be a really nice option for you. Let's go grab everything, we'll throw them back. I'm gonna throw the, M the M2, the A3, and the D2 on forehands, and then we'll backhand the F5. I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, first we're gonna go with the forehand with the super spicy mustard M2. These discs look really nice. This M2 feels quite a bit different than the M2 that I used to throw the older run. I think the bead is just a lot more pronounced on this guy, but it seemed really stable. So let's put it on a little Annie and see how it flicks. Dude, that thing is so stable. That was not enough Anheuser. If you need a beefy M2, that is the run for you. We've got the A3. I really liked how that flew on the first line. Had a little bit of a straighter flight per se than I expected, but we've got the ketchup A3 to go with the mustard M2. Oh, that thing is beef dog. Skip onto the bridge, why don't you? Now we've got the D2. My experience with re-blend, re-grind, recycled plastics, for some reason they always seem to come out more flippy. And I was expecting that from Prodigy Discs, especially with these being like a little bit softer plastic also usually is more understable, but all these discs 
are very stable runs, which I think the pro prodigy players like Isaac and Ezra, they're really going to like this nice overstable stuff. D2. I mean, that is like Nuke OS stable for me. It went really far, but it was really stable. Oh man, that's, that is not like an amateur player's D2. That is a professional player's D2 that needs something really stable that also goes really far. And I know Isaac Robinson's throwing the 400S Lavender X1s and D1s, but I think he's actually really gonna like that reblend D2. I said I was gonna backhand that five, but let's just see how it forehands. Oh yeah, that's just lovely. That's honestly just a lovely F5. The F5 on the backhand and on the forehand, I think went farther than the D2, but both of those forehands were probably just a touch over 400 feet. So far, everything is flying really good. I'm just shocked at how overstable that D2 is. Are you on team uh, ketchup or team mustard? Comment down below. I'm a team mustard color guy, but probably team ketchup for food guy. Let me know where you're at in the comments below. So here's the D2. This is an elite run of F5. If you are a Prodigy fan and you don't yet have the Reblend F5, you need one of these. This is a really, really good disc. All right, we're going to throw everything one more time and then we will wrap up today's video. So far, my top picks from this batch is going to be the F5 and this A3. It's just got, it's really stable like the A2 but it's got a nice little domey kind of pop toppy on it. It's not so domey to where it's uncomfortable in the hand, but this is gonna go quite a bit farther than an A2, but it's gonna give you that similar fade and over stability. All right, my Anheusers have not been good, so let's make it good. So you get that push, but you still get that swing at the end. It's a really nice, just, throwing putter slash utility disc. Like, I feel like I can really, I could really rely on that A3. And to me, that disc is so much better than the Archive. That's how the Archive was supposed to fly. And I just don't think they, they just didn't feel great and they didn't fly great. And I don't see anybody throwing the Archive out on the course. I personally like the MX2 mold better than that. But if you like that more like rock shaped disc, you're gonna like that one better. But if you like the beadless option, the MX2 is gonna be better for you. I prefer the beadless option. All right, F5, this is my favorite disc in the bunch. I mean, that that's the disc. That's probably Prodigy's best drop in a long time. That thing is so good. That's 100% gonna go in my bag. See how it stacks up against some of my other favorite fairway drivers. Oh. Nothing is so stable. If that's not stable enough for Ezra and Isaac, then I can't even begin to imagine how stable their Lavender 400 SD ones and X ones are because that's full power forehand, 45 degrees of Anheuser, and it's swinging out almost immediately out of the hand. Um, let's go grab everything. We'll do a quick sort of finale and recap of everything. And we'll close out the video for today. All right, this was a full power flex forehand right here. Just exactly the same distance was a backhand F5. This thing is actually going shockingly far for me. And if you told me that my full power forehand would go the same distance as a fairway driver backhand, I would honestly just call you crazy. This thing is insane. All right, everybody, quick conclusion of everything. I really, really love this A3. I'm gonna put it in the bag and see. It's kind of a unique slot for me because I don't like my overstable throwing putters approach discs to go too far. I tend to lean on discs like the Berg and the Neon that I just throw them and they come down as fast as possible just to give me the best chance to get as close to the basket as I possibly can. But maybe for some longer up shots where I find myself in an awkward position where the Berg doesn't go far enough, but then my overstable mid goes too far, this probably would be really nice in that slot. So A3, really nice premium disc. 
This reblend feels awesome. I'm really impressed with the blend from Prodigy Disc on these. Reblend D2, just stupidly beefy compared to other D2s that I've thrown. Super duper overstable. I think if Ganon was on the team, I think he would probably want to bag one of these because it's really stable. It goes really far. And I could see Ganon Burr just throwing this thing like full power flex and just getting really awesome, super far flex lines out of this, but way too overstable for me, at least for distance shots. Reblend M2. I just think the new blends of M2, they feel really awkward in my hand. The mixture of like the high dome and then the bead is just shaped weird on these and I can't explain why, but it just does not feel good in my hand. And to me, this is just a worse flying, worse feeling rock. So this M2, not for me. If you're already an M2 thrower and you want a more stable one, or you were disappointed in the stability of the archive, then I would highly suggest getting one of these. You're going to really like the stability on this guy, but not for me. Reblend F5. This is an incredible fairway driver that I'm really excited to throw. It's got the perfect amount of dome to it, beadless fairway driver. I can just punch this thing hard, pretty much full power on a slight hyzer. It's gonna pick up and go just ever so dead straight, or it has enough stability where I can just throw it flat. It's gonna get a nice big turn in the mid flight, but still have enough integrity to come out at the end. I would be so surprised if the Prodigy Pros were not bagging some of these reblend discs. I think this is probably, in my opinion, some of the best discs Prodigy has come out with in a long time. They've had so many manufacturing issues with the flashing, with production quality, with production consistency. All the good Prodigy players are still throwing old discontinued bar stamp 400S. Hopefully we can see that not being the case anymore. If Prodigy, you can continue to make discs like this, people are going to start to trust Prodigy again. We have a good run. Prodigy's made good runs before, but can we keep it up? I don't know. I think if you want to try one of these, you're better off getting one sooner than later because Prodigy hasn't quite proven to me that they can consistently make a good run. This is a good run, and if you like throwing Prodigy, this is a must-have in your bag, this F5. So, Go get yours over at Power Grip USA. Use my discount code Iceberg10. It'll save you 10% on any discs over at the website except for MVP and Axiom. Um, I still get credit for those sales, so if you want to buy MVP and Axiom and use my code, I really appreciate it, but you won't get a discount on those discs in particular. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I really appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.